Hi everyone and welcome back to another video. If you are new, my name is Monica and in today's video I'm going to share three different ways on how you can style a mantle. I'm going to go with a neutral look, a look with some darker jewel tones, and then I'm going to go with the traditional oranges and yellows. So I hope you guys all enjoyed today's video and I hope it gives you some inspiration and some decorating ideas if you are still looking for those for the fall season. So let's just go ahead and get right into today's video. Go ahead and hit that red subscribe button right now before we get any further. You're not going to want to miss out on any of my upcoming videos. So if you haven't already hit that subscribe button, go ahead and do that right now. You're also going to want to follow me over on my Instagram. I share a ton over there. My Instagram is monica.rose.77 and I also have a link that will take you right to my Instagram page in my description box. The first way that I'm going to share with you on how to style this mantle is with some beautiful jewel tones. And what I'm doing here is I'm just taking two garlands and just kind of weaving them together, making a thicker, prettier garland with a little more color and texture. I always love adding some florals to my fall decor, so I tried to choose colors that were kind of fall related, and I did have these peach colored flowers. I believe they might be like cabbage roses or something like that, but I believe that they have that fall feel to them. So I'm gonna add those here on the sides and then just add a little bit of filler in between them. And then I also have some burgundy colored hydrangeas and some other florals. And I'm gonna go ahead and add those in as well. These burgundy colored pumpkins will match perfectly with the florals that I'm going to be adding to this mantle as well. And then these other pumpkins that I'm adding here look so pretty and they go so well with the garland that I already have up here. I really love adding candlelight to my mantle, so I thought I would add a few gold candle holders with some candles up here, and I found those candle holders at Michael's and Hobby Lobby, and they actually almost look identical. The style is just slightly different, but I did find those at two different stores.
I felt like it needed a little something down here to just add some color, so I decided to go with a basket and some florals with different types of fall leaves. So I thought this looked perfect over here and it really brought everything all together. Now I'm going to share how I decorated this mantle using neutral colors. I know it's really hard to decorate with neutral colors and really have that fall feel because quite honestly, fall colors are not very neutral. I think that neutral fall is absolutely gorgeous and I love it and it's very comforting and cozy, but in reality, Fall colors are golds, yellows, reds, orange, those types of colors because those are the colors of the leaves when they change color. But you can find a lot of beauty when you are using neutrals. I know there are white pumpkins and all that stuff, but most people think of fall, they think of the very traditional fall colors. So I tried to <laughs> do this the best I could. I used a bunch of white pumpkins and very neutral colors. I also weaved in a lot of white florals and then I had that garland of moss that I found at Hobby Lobby several years ago. So I thought that that would add a little bit of texture up here. And then I just went ahead with a ton of white pumpkins. Um, you'll see here that I moved stuff around because it just got to be a little too much in one spot, but um, I really love neutrals and I love decorating for fall using neutrals.
to break up some of that white and cream colors that I have up here, I found some beige colored florals that were fall and I just kind of weaved those throughout this mantle area just to kind of warm things up a little bit. For this look, I really, really wanted to go with all neutrals and I felt like that photo frame or that painting was just a little too uh, bright and bold. So I decided to switch it out with a wreath and I did find that wreath online. And also I will be linking a lot of the items that I am using today in my description box. If you don't see it in there, please don't hesitate to ask down in the comments and I will be more than happy to answer. If I can find the link, I will go ahead and leave that. So just keep that in mind. Look at my description box for links um, if you are looking for something in particular.
For the last mantle decor idea I'm going to share with you, it is going to be the traditional fall look. And this is how I started decorating from the very beginning was the traditional colors. I loved them so, so, so much. I've kind of fallen a little bit away from that only because so much of my home decor is so neutral. And for some reason when I bring out this color it is just a lot for me but I still love it and I really wanted to play around and decorate my mantle with this and I had so much fun doing it I also wanted to share with you how you can do this and it's very simple and I'm using the same technique with a garland first and then I'm just adding some florals I love adding florals to my fall decor like I said in the beginning of this video I think it just makes everything look so pretty obviously you can leave the florals out if you wish but I think it just makes everything look really nice and put together and then for the sides here I wanted something kind of hanging over just slightly on the sides of this mantle and I chose some wild yellow looking flowers and then I'm just gonna weave in a few little pumpkins throughout Like I said, I do love adding candlelight to my mantle, but you will see me take the candles away when I add the wreath. I found this beautiful wreath at Home Goods, but it was really big and there was no way I'm going to be lighting candles underneath that wreath because it would just be a disaster. So um, I know that you can find some flameless candles that look real. And I haven't done that yet, but I will be on the lookout for those but for now I'm just gonna take the candles away and I think everything looks so pretty and this wreath is just absolutely gorgeous That's it for today's video I hope it gave you a few ideas if you were looking to decorate your mantle for the fall season I want to know which one you thought was the best or which one you would like to try to go with one two or three go ahead and let me know down in the comments below I would love to know your thoughts Thank you so much for watching today's video if you did enjoy it please leave me a thumbs up don't forget to hit that red subscribe button before you click out and i hope you guys all have an amazing day and i will see you all in the next one bye